All right, in this video, this is T's Workbook Hints video number 16, and we're gonna be talking about how long does it take to paint some walls. Now this question here is actually question number 29 from the Math Practice Test 2 in my T's Math Workbook. This workbook has been out for over a year now, and it has received 10 updates, new problems, and one of the most recent updates is this Math Practice Test 2. Now I do have some videos that are somewhat similar to this question, but we have to do a little bit more work to actually get this final answer. So Jacob is painting all of the walls in a room that is 20 feet long and 24 feet wide. The ceiling is 12 feet above the floor. Here's the new part. If Jacob can paint nine square feet per minute, how long will it take him to paint the four walls? So we have a room and we know this room is 20 feet long and 24 feet wide. So I'm going to put those down here for the dimensions of the floor, 20 feet by 24 feet. And though my drawing's not to scale, it'll be just fine. We also know that the ceiling is 12 feet above the floor. So that's going to be the height of the room. And Jacob's going to paint all four walls. So we have this one over here on the left, this one right here on the right, and then we have these two walls, both one in the front here and one back here in the back. The thing he's not going to be painting is this ceiling, and he's not going to be painting this floor, just the four walls. So we are doing a form of what's called finding the surface area, but we don't want the area of all of the surfaces. We want just the area of the four walls. So we have this left wall over here, and it's actually the same as this right wall. Think of this as a big box. Well, we have the dimensions of this wall over here on the right. It's 24 feet by 12 feet. And we want to paint this wall. We have to find the area of this wall. Because if you think about it, when you paint something, you paint the whole shape. You don't paint around the edge, you paint the whole wall. Therefore, if we find the area of that right wall, we're going to take 24 and multiply it by 12. Length times width or base times height. Now, this is just the area of this right wall here. And if we multiply that, we'll get 288. And since we are taking 24 feet times 12 feet, that is 288 square feet. But bear in mind, that's just the area of this wall on the right. We have the same wall over here on the left. So we can quickly come in here and double this area. And this will give us an area of 576 square feet. Now bear in mind, that is just this right wall and this left wall here. Now we need to repeat this process for the front wall and the back wall. The front wall is what we have right here. And then we have that exact same rectangle back here on this back wall. Let's be careful with our dimensions here. We're still going to do length times width or base times height since we have a rectangle, but we're gonna take 20 times, what is this here? This is not 24. This is the height of the room. It's the same thing as this 12 feet. As a matter of fact, that 12 feet applies to this, 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 and this. It's the height of the room. So if we take the 20 and multiply it by 12, again, that's the base times the height. Multiplying 20 feet by 12 feet, we get 240 square feet. But again, this is just the front wall. We have this back wall that is the exact same thing. So just like in the first part we did up here, we doubled it. This was for the left and right wall. And now when we double 240, we will get 480 square feet, which is going to be the area of the front wall and the back wall. Now with these two measurements, if we add those together, the area of the four walls will be the sum of these areas here. And that is going to be 1,056 square feet. This represents the total number of square feet of all four walls. And these four walls, Jacob has to paint. Now, some of you from here, you may say, okay, well, he can paint nine square feet per minute. So some of you may be thinking, okay, do I multiply? Do I divide? You actually divide here, but let me show you the proportion approach just so that you can see that we will be dividing by nine. Well, what do I mean? Right here, nine square feet per minute. We know that Jacob can paint nine square feet in one minute. 
Now, yes, you could put nine square feet over one minute. It will work out just fine. But the way I'm setting up this proportion is I have my square feet on the left and I have my minutes on the right. Well, what do we know about this problem? We know that the total square footage of all four of those walls is 1,056 square feet. So check out how I'm setting this up. I'm putting that at the bottom on the left side because I have square feet and square feet. And the question says, how long will it take? We're trying to figure out the number of minutes. So I'm going to put my variable X over there. And I get this question quite often. Some folks are saying, well, I like to set it up like this. Put the nine square feet and put the one minute in one fraction. Totally fine. The way you would set it up now is you would put the 1,056 square feet at the top and you would put your X minutes at the bottom. If you're familiar with solving proportions, both of these are just fine. Both of them will give you the same answer. Look at what you're going to cross multiply over here. You're going to take 9 times x, that's 9x, and you'll cross multiply and get 1056 over here. Well, look at what you get with the way I set it up on this one. 9 times x, that's 9x. 1056 times 1 is still 1056. Regardless, we have to divide by 9 to solve this. And again, all we're trying to do there is get x by itself. And if we take 1056, we divide it by 9, we will get an answer of 117 and a bunch of 3s. I'm just going to put a bar over. Well, what does this represent? X minutes. X minutes. So we're talking about approximately 117 minutes. Well, if you think about 117 minutes, is that 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours? What is it? Well, let's think about this. If we take 60 minutes plus another 60 minutes. We're essentially taking one hour plus one hour. That would be 120 minutes. So I'll go ahead and tell you, a reasonable answer here would be, hey, it would take Jacob approximately two hours. Because look how close our answer, 117 minutes, that's pretty doggone close to 120 minutes. And that's the same thing as two hours. Now your T's test will be multiple choice. I can assure you they would not put 117 minutes for one answer and put two hours for another one. I could see this question being worded as approximately how long will it take him to paint the walls? A reasonable answer there would be two hours. And there you have it. Question number 29 from the practice test two of my T's math workbook. I do have other problems similar to this on my channel and over at my website. You can search my channel for surface area and you will see those. But the new thing here is we had to do some extra math. We did find the area of the four walls, but in this case here, we had to do some more math to figure out how long it would take Jacob to paint those walls. If you like what you see and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.